Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered and it would appear that more weapons and more content are going to be coming to Modern Warfare Remastered probably sooner rather than later. So all this is actually going to be coming from a Reddit post, this is actually going to be from the same people who leaked to us earlier that we are going to be getting these weapon kit variants, that we are going to be getting the Kamchaka 12, the same people that were able to actually leak all these supply drop stuff about a month before it actually came out, so it's probably going to be pretty credible. In this Reddit post, which if you guys want to check it out, link down there in the video description, they go ahead to tell us that there was actually a secret update to Modern Warfare Mastered. So after the big update that came on Tuesday that gave us the new maps as well as supply drops and everything else, there was another 5 gigabyte update that pretty much came out of nowhere and there was never any information officially given for what was actually in this update. So after they started rooting through the files on PC, they ended up finding a couple of extra things in here. So the Kamchaka 12, which is a full auto Russian shotgun, as well as the XM LAR, don't worry it's not a launcher, when I first read XM LAR, I initially thought, are they adding like a, like a lock-on launcher to this game? Because that's going to definitely ruin uh, the game for sure. But it's actually more or less just a Modern Warfare 2 FAL for the most part. It's a new semi-automatic rifle, basically. But the, the Kamchaka 12 and the XM LAR, they now have textures, and they also have weapon kit variants actually showing up in the PC files of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, I can't show you any gameplay, of course, here in this video, because Activision will take it down. Because whenever you try to post anything early that's in the game, but it's it's not officially released, Activision will take down that stuff. So if you guys want to actually see some gameplay, check the links down there in the video description. You guys are going to find some streamable links where you can see some gameplay of the Kamchaka 12 and the XM LAR. Keep in mind, the Kamchaka 12 had no textures whatsoever, but now apparently it does, and they're also going to have weapon kit variants going along with it. So they also have a couple of extra things coming, apparently. It would appear we're going to be getting new melee weapons or images, once again, down there in the video description. They don't have textures right now, but there are new melee weapons like a sickle and a sword and stuff like that which are going to be coming to the game as well and it also would appear that the variety map pack is going to get remastered eventually so there are some files that have been found that reference creek chinatown kill house as well as broadcast these of course are the four maps that came with the variety map pack which was the first and only dlc for call of the force so that's pretty cool we don't know of course how it's actually going to come to the game i'd be perfectly okay with paying you know 10 15 dollars for the map pack i'd be perfectly okay if it was a free update as well but i have to wonder what do they intend to do with the Kamchaka 12 as well as the XM LAR? These are the only two weapons right now that we know for sure are pretty much going to be coming to the game. We don't know about the extra weapons. Of course, a long time ago, it was actually leaked that like the Modern Warfare 2 Striker, the Modern Warfare 2 FAL, which apparently turned out to be the XM LAR, the Striker, the, uh, the Galil from the original Black Ops. All these weapons are also in the game files. Now, I find it interesting that the FAL is now the XM LAR, so I wonder if they are going to be adding in these other weapons again. The Striker, the PP2000 Machine Pistol, the Galil. Are these things also going to be coming to the game in the future? And how are they going to be coming to the game? I saw so many people defending Raven Software saying, well, guys, it's just cosmetic. Stop freaking out. It's just cosmetic. And this is why people were freaking out. Like, I don't mean to be rude to people, but honestly, you're a fool if you think that these weapons aren't coming to the game in the near future. Like, it's gonna happen. There is no way, even though Raven Software apparently told YouTubers at the recording event that they want to keep it cosmetic only, they didn't guarantee that it would stay cosmetic only, right? These weapons are going to come to the game in one way or another. Are they going to be in supply drops? I don't know. Are they going to be part of this big DLC bundle? I think that's a better way of doing it, honestly. If they are going to add weapons to the game, which, to be clear, I don't want them to do this. I don't want new shotguns. I don't want new assault rifles. I want the weapons in the game to stay pretty much the same way that they are, the same way they were in Call of Duty 4, the same way they have been for 10 years. I like the weapon balance. Sure, a couple weapons are really weak, like the Uzi and the Scorpion. Sure, some weapons are overpowered like the M16, but that's how the weapon balance has always been, and adding in new weapons is going to throw off that balance. So, to be clear, I don't want this to happen, but if it does happen, because it's completely out of my control, we talked about it a couple days ago, it's time to just accept the fact that this is what the Call of Duty franchise has become. If they do decide to add these weapons to the game, I think it's better for everybody involved if they are part of, like, a bundle with the remastered variety map pack, right? That way, anyone that buys the map pack can also have the weapons, therefore they can actually be obtained. It's not through just random random 
some luck because let's be honest here guys by the time these weapons come to the game if they come to the game they are going to dilute that loot pool so ridiculously much with random shirts and random melee weapons and random titles and emblems and this that and the other thing it's gonna be near impossible to actually get these things the drop chance on these weapons are going to be so ridiculously low just like they were in black ops 3 that's going to really encourage people to try to spend money on the black market shall we call it i think it's called a depot now here in modern warfare remastered it's not fair to the consumer so if they do decide to add these weapons for one reason or another i hope it's part of a paid dlc i hope it's part of the remastered variety map pack but ladies and gentlemen that is all i have for you guys here for this particular video stay tuned for another video going up later on this evening it looks like that they're going to be adding a couple of weapons new melee weapons as well as a remastered variety map pack in the future because all of those files have been found in the pc version of call of duty modern warfare remastered but before i sign off i would like to thank all of the people who are working hard to find this stuff in the pc version of the game thank you so much to semye thank you so much to uh, earthbound fan thank you so much to tails all the people that have been working on this like i don't know these guys personally i just know them by their reddit handles and their their names on steam for the most part but these are the same people that have been working to get this stuff out there to the community on reddit whenever they find this stuff in the files these are the same people that end up leaking the actual supply drop system about a month ago the same people that showed off the sporty looking m1014 the same people that ended up showing off the cam chaka 12 like these are the people that are working hard to bring this stuff to you guys so thank you so much to them i hope you guys all enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day